Welcome back to the next lesson in the Swift UI to-do list app. We're going to continue uh, where we left off. Basically, in this video, we're going to start to save new to-do list items to our database. We're going to talk about the model, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Before we dig in, destroy that like button down below as per usual, and let's continue. So we set up our new item view for creating uh, a new to-do list item with a due date as well as a uh, due date, rather as well as a uh, title, I should say. So due date and a title. Let's jump into that view. Uh, it is our new item view. And we also set up a view model with a save um, button, basically a save uh, button as well as a save function that is tied to it. And this is in our new item view, view model. So what we're gonna want to do in here is import both Firebase auth as well as import Firebase Firestore, AKA our database. Now, once we hit save, we're gonna do two things. We are going to say guard can save. Now, this is something that we should have already checked for. Um, in our views logic, but we'll just stick it here as another, you know, sanity check. And what we want to do is create a new instance of a to-do list item model from the supply data we have, our title and our due date. Once we create the model, and let's actually stick in comments while I blabber on. So we're going to create a model. Once we create a model, we want to save the model to the database. And the way we're going to save it is basically um, as a sub collection of the current user. So we'll also want to get the current user ID here, right? Because if you recall, in our database, the way this works is we have a collection called users, we have a user ID, and then sub of that, we would have a collection called maybe like to do's or items, whatever you want to call it. And that's where this new element would go into. So we also are going to put a comment here of get current user ID. So let's do all this one by one. So getting the current user ID is actually pretty simple. We can actually say guard let UID uh, is going to be auth from Firebase auth dot auth current user dot UID else we are going to return. So uh, we know that the user is signed in, which is how they've even gotten this far. So we should absolutely always have a user ID. We're just going to read it off of the Firebase auth context. So now that we have that, we want to create a model, but we haven't defined this yet. So let's skip that for a hot second. Now, in this case, we want to, or the last case, I should say, is get an instance of our database and say database with a collection of users. Now this should have a document of our user ID, another collection off of that called maybe to do's, another document off of that, and this should be whatever our new model ID is. Let's call it one, two, three for now. And then we want to set data for this. And this is going to be a dictionary. And that's basically how we're going to save a new to do list item. Now, obviously we glossed over the most important piece here and that's creating our new item model. We have an empty Swift file called to-do list item under models. Let's open it up and declare a to-do list item model in here. So already, so I'm gonna create a struct and call it to-do list item. It is going to be codable and it is also going to be identifiable. And we're gonna start sticking some stuff in here. So we're gonna have a a string type for ID. We're going to have a title, basically what the user types in for the item. We'll have a due date of type time interval. We'll have a created date of type time interval as well. This is basically when the user has actually created the element, not when it's due per se. And we're going to have a variable that is going to be is done uh, of type bool. And the reason this is a var is so we can actually mutate this. Now, this object is also gonna have a mutating function on it called um, toggle done maybe is what we'll call it. Or maybe what we can do is say set done. And we can call this state bool. And essentially inside of here, we'll say is done is state. And the reason that we need this here is 
Once we bring in the functionality to check or uncheck if a item is done, we are gonna want to modify the model to reflect this before we save it or update it in our database. The reason this is mutating here is because this is a struct. Structs are value types, and if you're not familiar, I've got dedicated videos on this as well. So hit Command B, make sure things are still building, and let's come back to our view model where we're gonna instantiate this new item. So we'll say new item is a to-do list item, and it gives us all this nice jazz here. So let me just line break it to make it look a little nicer and more readable, and we'll start filling all of this out. Okay, cool. So we're gonna create a new ID up above. It's gonna be a UUID, and we'll get the UUID string from it. This is just basically a unique new identifier. That is what we will use for our ID. Title is title, due date is going to be due date, and we're gonna get the, once again, time interval since 1970. Created date will be now, and we're also gonna get time interval since 1970. And by default, every item is not done, so we can just hard code false into is done. Now that we've done that, here we're gonna use our new ID in the database, and the data we're gonna set on this is new item, and remember that handy function we wrote called as dictionary? Well, boom, we're gonna use it again here to convert this model to a dictionary that we can write into the database. Hit Command B, everything should be building. Let's go to uh, our browser here, we'll just refresh it real quick before we try to insert an element. And let's hit Command R to build and run this in our simulator. And let's give this a shot. So we're logged in here. We'll hit this little plus. We're gonna say, let's call this buy some more eggs with an exclamation mark because supposedly that's exciting. We'll say May 1st and I'll hit save here. So it looks like it did dismiss. We don't see obviously anything here because we haven't done much in this view. But if I come back to our database, under this user, we should have a new collection called to-dos, which in fact we do. It should have a new single element with some random ID with all the data that we have indeed saved. So we've got that is done is false, buy some more eggs with an exclamation mark. We've got the ID and the due date and created date respectively as time intervals. So awesome, we're finally saving to-do list items and the flow of creation is basically done. What's left to do is actually fetch these out of the database be able to mark them as done or not done, delete them, and then of course this profile tab over here where we'll also be able to sign out. So that is all I've got in this video. As a quick recap, we basically implemented this save functionality here. We get the user ID off of the Firebase auth object. We created a model here, which is representing a single to-do list item entry, and we basically insert it into the database just to take a quick peek, a revisit of our to-do list item. We have some constant properties on here. We have a variable for is done, which is mutable, AKA we can flip the value of this true or false. And we have a mutating function to actually assign is done, which will make a copy of this model. That's how value types work and return that copy to us with the new value. So that is all I've got in this video. Appreciate y'all watching. Destroy that like button before clicking on to the next lesson, and I will see you guys there.